talking to Will Anderson. Good morning to you. Hey, good morning. Thank you very much for letting me do this this morning because technically it's my first day at work <laughs> and I should be on air doing my job right now. So I've been like one hour into the show and I've already taken some time off. Oh, we love it. We love it. Get your priorities right on a Monday morning. Yeah. How are you feeling? How's Eddie been treating you? Have you survived okay? Oh, well, you know, this is the good news. I came in this morning and based on, you know, Dave Hughes saying that he was cutting his pay so Kate Langbrook would be paid the same, uh, Eddie's made the same promise to me. So it's been a great morning. Uh, I'm doing that. very, very well now. <laughs> that won't be happening. Um, yeah. Working with Eddie, uh, I love Eddie. He's a great friend of mine. Uh, working with him, what is it like? Take me inside Ooh. the studio. Well, I, well, here's the thing. He's a very well-dressed man, as yes. everybody knows. Uh, I couldn't even uh, manage to shave this morning before I got into work. And he's in a, a beautiful Armani suit, looking fantastic. And he only got back into the country at midnight last night. Wow. So I assume somewhere there is a portrait of Eddie Maguire uh, that is getting very, very ugly and is very badly dressed in tracksuit pants. Oh, look, it is such a terrific show as well. We love it. And you're replacing Mick Malloy. Big shoes to fill. Ah, oh, massive shoes to fill. And he is, of course, doing the drive show. So, I mean, he's still going to be in the building. Uh, he set his alarm for 2 o'clock in the afternoon now, which is a much more sensible time too. for Mick Malloy to get up. Mm. Well, the nice thing is that, uh, you know, when you follow in the footsteps of Mick, the fact that you actually show up on time makes everybody happy. <laughs> so, it's a, you know, that's the good news. <laughs> Revealing the secrets. It's a big plus. It's a big plus. Um, look, you've got. I mean, to be honest, yeah. like, the fact that I even came in this morning, they were wrapped. It was fine. <laughs> it's a plus. Hey, um, my friend, you have got a lot on your plate. Uh, you have to be there and, and to do the show and stuff. But you've got lots of stuff happening in Australia, and you've got lots of stuff happening around the world. How are you going to split all that? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> if you could tell me, that would be very, very helpful. I imagine very poorly. I imagine my health will suffer. Yes. And I imagine in about a year from now, uh, I'll be looking absolutely terrible. But uh, no, it's very exciting, obviously, as you guys know, to have um, an opportunity, like for me to wake up in the city where I started, you know, my, my comedy career. Um, you know, I'm a Victorian boy. I love the AFL. And to be able to wake up in Melbourne, which I believe is the greatest city in the world every morning uh, and talk to the people of Melbourne, it's, it's a really exciting time in my life. Is it hard to be funny first thing in the morning? Like, you know, just getting up that hour is is difficult, let alone to, to get the, you know, mm. the cogs moving. It's not that hard because I've already spent all the money. So uh, <laughs> I really need to make this work. It's good so motivation. So at any stage, <laughs> at any stage when I'm not feeling funny, I close my eyes and I think of my massive mortgage <laughs> and I think, you know what? I, I probably should just be funny right now. But your sense of humour, it's pretty edgy at times. Your live shows, you push the boundaries. Mm. How are you going to go on, on breakfast radio? Are you going to have to tone it down a little, do you think? No. Or just hang it all out there? <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm following in the footsteps of Mick Malloy. I think I'll be fine. Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure that I'm too much edgier than Mick. You know, I think if I was coming in following in the footsteps of somebody, perhaps who, uh, you know, did not have that style of humour. But I grew up listening to Mick. A lot mm. of, you know, the way that I do comedy was shaped by listening to Martin and Malloy and watching, you know, Mick perform. So no, I think, um, you know, I'm just going to fit in hopefully nicely to the show and. Uh, you know, well, here's the thing. Like, I grew up on a farm and, you know, uh, like the fact that I'm on the radio at this time in the morning rather than milking cows at this time in the morning, <laughs> I'm just... You're winning. I'm just happy to be here. You're winning straight out. <laughs> You're sold out. <laughs> <laughs> rural I mean, I have sold out, but you know how hard it is to milk a cow? It's, it's a terrible, <laughs> terrible job. And they do it at five o'clock in the morning, Carl, and there's yeah. no reason for that because the cows have nothing to do for the rest of the day. <laughs> You've got to get the milk, right? Milk them at 11. Just milk a cow at 11. What a great point. Why do they why do, do it? Why do it early on? Well, the tr you've got to get the milk to the breakfast table. That's why you've got to do it. Oh, you've got to help yeah, out the people true, in Deb. Australia. That's true, Deb. That's true. You're so smart. <laughs> hey, um, my friend, Gruen Transfer, going well again. Another great season. Yeah, it's been uh, really fantastic how people support that show. It's yeah. my 10 weeks of the year where I have to fast forward through TV shows to get to the ads. <laughs> so we've got four weeks to go and we're hoping that... Uh, the block. If, actually, now that I'm on channel, channel nine, could I just say to the producers of the block, could you just finish at eight thirty? 
Like mm, our show comes on at eight thirty. <laughs> Now that you wind it up, guys. Now that we you're get on, it. Now that you're on another Chandler, room. I love those. The price of those ads after eight thirty. I just love the price of those ads. <laughs> 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 Thank you, my man. All the very best and, and and good luck moving forward with the radio show. It's a terrific show, and all the better for having you on it. Thanks for being with us. Good on you.